the damsel nymph, we go to the adult damsel. And this is what I like to call the zing damsel. The body, I call it a damsel body material. The wings are zing wing. I have a strap back here out of blue zelon. The thorax area is blue furry foam. And then the eyes are mo burnt monofilament eyes from Umpqua Feather Merchants. And it's uh, the, ca called the uh, mini size. So let's tie this little flying beauty. We're going to use the TMCO 101 hook. I almost always use it in a size 14, regardless of how big I'm going to be tying the fly. And I like to use gray 8 dot thread. We'll just start it in the thorax area here. And then we'll pick up our body material. Come up, tie it down. Again, just so it's right on top of the hook shank. And I go right to the point of the hook. Come back over it again. Just making sure it's tied down nice and tight. And if you want, you can put a little drop of zap a gap. And then I'll pull it out straight and cut it to the length I want it. And it's usually about twice the length of the hook shank. I'm going to grab my lighter. I'll just bend the damsel body material over. I'm just going to singe it a little bit, wet my fingers, and pinch it. That way it will keep it from coming unraveled. Next we're going to grab some furry foam. So we'll just pick this up. We're going to cut a fairly narrow strip. And this is what we'll be using instead of dubbing for our thorax. Cut, up, cut it off. Now when I hold it up here, I'll cut it at an angle before I tie it in. So tie that in. Come forward. And now I'm ready to tie in my eye, my wings. For the wings that I'm going to be using is Zing Wing. It's one of those synthetic Mater magical materials John Betts came up with and that Umqua Feather Merchants distributes. So we'll just kind of flatten it out. I'll just make one little cut, rip it off, set it to the side, and I'll cut one more. Little cut, pull it off. This one I'll hold on to, grab my other one, Let's kind of even up the tips a little bit. Now I'm ready to tie them in. So I'll bring them up to the hook. I'll just do a figure eight, cinching them in there. Like so. And then pulling on both ends, making sure they're nice and even on both sides. And just take several more wraps, making sure it's tied in there nice and tight. Then I'll bring my thread forward a little bit. Now before we go any further, I'd, I'd like to trim my wings now, or you can do it later, whatever you prefer. But I bring them all together, lay them back, and I come in and trim them to about three quarters the length of the body here. Okay. Now I'll just kind of Round them off a little bit. Just make it look a little bit more like the natural. Like so. After we get the wings tied on, we're going to tie on the blue zelon. So we're going to take one full rope, just like this. I'm going to just cut a couple inch piece of it. Kind of bind it all together. And then we're going to pull our wings back, tie it in right behind the eye, right up to the wings. Make sure it's tied in there nice and tight. Then we'll trim off 
that little tab of zoom on there. Now we're ready to tie in our eyes. Reach down, pick up our eyes. I'm going to lay that right between the wing and that blue Z-Lon. And we'll tie it in with some figure eights, making sure we have an equal amount of stem sticking out on each side. And we'll make sure it's tied in there nice and tight. I'm going to finish with our thread right behind the eye. Now I just kind of move the wings up out of the way and we'll wrap our furry foam forward. Do this like so. And that acts as our dubbing. And get right behind the wing. I'm using a little bit of tension on here. I'll kind of pull that wing back. Hold it straight up. Pull that wing back a little bit and wrap it down. Because we're going to want those wings to slant back a little bit. And then we take one more turn right behind the eye. And then we'll come up right below the eye. Eyes. Oops. Wrap, get it wrapped in there. And then we'll come up right below the eyes, just like so. And tie it off right behind the hook eye, but right in front of the monofilament eyes. Trim off the excess. Then we're going to pull our wing case of blue zealon over. Take a turn right behind the eye. One turn right in front of the wing. Pull the wings up out of the way a little bit. And then we'll take a couple turns right behind the wing. Make, usually I take four to five wraps right here, all in one place. Then I'll come back with the thread right in front of the wing, right behind the eye, and then right up to the eye of the hook. And now I'm ready to whip finish it off. So I'll grab my whip finisher and tie it off. Trim off our thread, and then I'll pull up the remaining of this Z-Lon and just trim it off. And that's what I call the Zing Damsel. This thing's been fished from California to New Zealand. You can tie it in an olive, tan, or a red color, and they use red over in New Zealand.